you do? I, I, it, it, it was next. Nice. Nice. Stay away from me, I'm a monster. monster. I'm sorry! <sighs> it was just a dream. Again! I can't believe it happened. I finally got my quirk and what do I do with it? As yes, this is one Izuku Midoriya. In which, as you can guess, Violent Quirk Awakening, someone got hurt. He's beating himself up red in his room and pretty much really doesn't want to go back outside for a while. But this is the next day. In which as you can imagine, Inko gets a knock on the door and Izuku is shitting himself. Metaphorically. Yeah, turns out Mitsuki heard uh, that Izuku pretty much nearly killed her son. And she wants to hear his side of the story. But there's a problem. She already got one side. It is not seeing him as a uh, good person at all. Ingo's trying her best to defend him, but Miski's to bring it, him over here. I want to hear from him what happened. And this still being Zuku, scared as all hell. He's not really feeling it. Go tries is like, don't worry, just tell her true, tell her what happened. As yes, as you can imagine, Izuku is crying his eyes out as he tries to explain that Boggle's bullying someone. Izuku stepped in. He started to get angry, worked up, and all the main childhood tra tantrums that come with it the age of five and yeah this blue energy just shot from his hands and uh, Bogo slammed into a tree yeah Inko shot to hear this is like what what happened, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's not what those boys said at all. He said you attacked Kasuki and provoked and yada 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 lie this, lies that. So many lies. So easy. So yeah. Izuku is rightfully sure that they would boldly lie to hit Bago's mom and she wondering why in the hell would they do such a stupid thing if they must not have thought I would want to hear you out I guess as this is pretty much uh, what's wrong with Bago is he alright <sighs> yeah, about that. When you um, defended that boy and fought him, he's in the hospital. He's not waking up right now. What? Y yeah. And Izuku was crying a damn river. Miski trying to calm him down, saying, 
it was an accident and whatnot, but he's just beating himself up over this so bad that he feels like he is a monster. He's, he and Ego are holding him, trying to tell him that it's okay. And then they see that he's starting to well up with this turbo energy again, and they're definitely trying to get him to cool it. The next day at school, everyone heard what happened to Bongo when that Izuku did it. Then boys, though, they got their asses whooped by their respected parents and Mitsuki. <clears throat> yeah, they are still telling the story that Bongo was the victim. And yeah, they're buying it like hotcakes. On a cold winter morning. So, everyone, every student, every teacher who hears about this story are looking at Izuku sideways. So, every time he comes home, he is feeling like a total asshole. For something that was a complete accident. And this goes on for at least two more weeks until he finds himself on, on the wrong side of the street. Ball goes goons. No ball could go. But enough of the kids from under class to pretty much jump Izuku or berate him. And which... Yes, they're just trying to make him feel bad about what he did. Knowing that he feels bad already, but you know, kids can be little shit sometimes. <sighs> Poor Izuku. Hearing their insults, their yelling, some of them are starting to use their quirks against him, teasing him, pushing him. As he gets more stressed, turbo energy starts to build up again. They are seeing this glow, but they are really letting him have it. Except for the two boys, uh, you know, gonna go to them to know what's gonna happen next. As a surge of energy just explodes from Izuku, sends all five kids flying, not including Bago's lackeys. In which, instead of running home, Izuku runs into the woods, hiding, thinking, oh my goodness, I did it again. I can never be a hero. Uh, yeah. But, here's the thing. When those kids do come to, they are quick to shift blame to Izuku. And especially when the adults start showing out their parents. Wondering why were they late coming home. But this is when the friendly police officer lets it be known. Like, that's not what happened at all. Excuse me, you call my kids like, oh yes I am. You see, these little turd goblins were messing with this boy for no reason. He put a boy to a hospital. Did he do it on purpose? Well, I... Well... Uh... I'm listening. Well, uh... That is what I thought. So, where is this kid? I... I, I, I don't know. Where, where's Izuku? You ran into the woods. What? And you said he gets stressed, this energy shows up, and boom! Yes? Oh man, we are not going to have a forest for too much longer. As yes, a search party for Izuku is issued, and... No one can find him at all. 
the very least, not easily. Izuku, he spends a lot of time reflecting on hell. His dream of being a hero was pretty much down the drain. Not only did he hurt his best friend, Kasuki, but he also hurt his classmates all because of his stupid power. <sighs> Maybe it would have been better if I was just quirkless. This power is strong, but I have no idea how to use it. It's not like mom's quirk. It's not like dad's quirk. I, uh, makes no sense. This is not fair at all. All I wanted to do was be a hero. All this started because I just wanted to help someone. As you can just imagine, Izuku was really having doubts on him possibly becoming a hero. When it comes to the time they following him, it takes at least two or three months. They're wondering, wait, what was he eating? Nothing. What? Did he at least get anything to drink? Yeah, there was a river nearby. As they get a better look at Izuku, he is actually quite fit. Or at least for someone who hasn't eaten in a long ass time. It's almost as though something was fueling him. Something was nourishing him where he wouldn't eat. It was weird. But upon, upon him to you know coming home finally after so long Iko is all too happy to see him again but scolds him terribly for making her worry so much. But what really surprised him is Bakugo. Bakugo shows up and apologizes for provoking him like this. I think I didn't. I really didn't mean to. I'm sorry for bullying you. And that's pretty much the best you can get out of Bakugo at that day and age. Weezy made him apologize to Izuku and the boy he was bullying. And when it comes to those bastards, they pretty much got their whole TV, gaming, you know, fun privileges taken until Izuku was found safe and sound. And though, yes, this whole thing and whole mess has been cleared up. There's still one thing to, well, at least one loose end tie up. Izuku's quirk, he has to get it registered. When he does, he's, he really has no idea what to really call it. I mean, it's a I matter mean, type quirk and. Oh, no truth. The only thing he's actually really done with is to expel energy when he gets worked up. Not very much of a name there, now, is it? But then, something interesting. The Clark Doctor, which is a different one, does mention Max Steel. Hero in America, in which he may have the similar powers to Izuku. Which Izuku actually does know about him. The only thing is, uh, he ain't no All Might. <laughs> which, he goes like, uh, do you think he would be able to help my son? Oh, without a doubt, but 
or she will have to either get him to come to you or you go to him. Which one would you like to do, Izuku? I don't want to stay here anymore. Are you sure? Yes. I I I, I don't. I don't like it here. Please, let's move somewhere else. Anywhere else. I'm not comfortable here at all. In which, yeah, I think go seeing Izuku's demeanor, seeing that, yeah, he's serious. He really doesn't want to stay here in Japan. He really wants to go somewhere else. But, here's a problem. How are we going to keep his little new power under wraps? Because if he gets too stressed, chances are uh, a plane is going to crash and a ship is going to sink. So, before they actually do move, which Inko has found a considerable amount of wonderful places to set up their new nest, they have to find a way to keep Izuku's power under wraps, or at least keep it more stabilized compared to previous uh, happenings. In which you can imagine, turbo energy is a lot more powerful than civil electricity in this instance. So, whatever they do try to, to use a siphon in Izuku's energy, what, what the hell? What is it? It's full. What? Uh, can, can we get another one? Izuku administers enough energy to power the whole hospital and can still keep giving more. So the doctor nurses are pretty much like what the hell? How much power does this kid really have? Izuku looking at Izuku, him being even more worried, starting to glow again. So calm down, please, please. Last thing we need is for you to Blow up! Doctors, nurses, you have no idea how true that statement was, do you? As yeah, they realize the fact that Izuku can still give much more energy even after supplying enough to power a hospital. Like if he went full on power, full power for that, on that boy, he would have killed him. He would have slaughtered him. There would not be a drop of blood, a, a speck of bone anywhere. And those kids are lucky. He could have one-shotted them so easily. As you can imagine, they're pretty much running out of options. Hell, they don't want Izuku to end up hurting anyone. As three months go by, still, don't have anything that can help Izuku regulate or at least contain the massive amount of power he just seems to have a limitless supply of almost. So, Inko pretty much <laughs> ends up uh, running out of ideas, as you can imagine. Izuku feels terrible, considering that, yeah, he's burning his mother like this, and pretty much everyone else, all because his quirk is too powerful. As he goes to somewhere where, you can imagine, he can't hurt anyone. There's no one to hurt. A junkyard. As he starts rifling 
through all the junks, just trying his best not to be a walking disaster. This is when he notices this strange thing mixed in with the cars. Him seeing that it looks just like a miniature robot or something. Or maybe a piece of someone's hero costume or whatever. Hmm. That's weird. But one thing for certain, it's got his attention. As he's getting closer to it, he doesn't notice that he's slowly starting to glow blue. It's when he picks it up that his turbo energy gets a spike. As he knows, his, oh my god, it's going to happen again. But then he notices something else. He starts to slowly feel like the energy is being drained from him. He doesn't know how, but as he looks right at this robot, it's starting to flash blue. As then it wakes up, he's like, what the hell was that? Woo! Okay, I feel... So look... Uh, I feel good. I'm alive. Huh. Oh, I must have gotten a Joe some primo turbo energy. <laughs> I am back, baby. Huh? Huh. Who are you? Just looking at Izuku and Izuku's looking at him. My name is Izuku Madoya and uh you can talk? Yes. Yes, I can talk. I'm an Ultralink. What are you? A human? What's an Ultralink? Huh. Either way, whatever. I got a question. Did you see anyone having turbo energy around? Huh? The guy or gal who reset me, fixed me, gave me life again. Uh, okay, allow me to explain slowly. <clears throat> Turbo energy, the blue energy source that has a lot of uh, oomph, you could say. Do you know of anyone who uses said energy? Izuku just raising his hand. It's like, you don't have to raise your hand to answer my question. We're the only two people here. No, I mean, it was me. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I did that. You? Ugh. So, you're the one who uh, recharged me, huh? Seriously? Mm-hmm. Interesting. You said you're human, right? Yes. Oh, that's not right. I only thought... <sighs> well, he does seem human. Then again... Those guys do look similar to. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess we're cool now. What? Let's say it like this, kid. <clears throat> you have turbo energy. Okay, that stuff is very powerful, especially for someone your age, which I'm going to guess two years old. I'm just five. Oh, okay, whatever. Either way, 
I need turbo energy. Okay. So here's the deal. You help me and I help you. What? Give me, I'll absorb your turbo energy and you can utilize it through me. Well, technically you'll still be using it as you. It's just me as an ultra link I'll be able to assist. Really? <sighs> yes. You see, turbo energy is powerful, but for us ultra links, at least ones like me, we uh, we need it. We need to link with someone who has a suitable power source and turbo energy. That's some of the best stuff in the world. Okay. Good. So, like I said, you provide me with turbo energy, I provide you with a way to harness this power. Really? So you can help me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you scratch my back and I scratch yours, but you don't have a back. Oh, it's an expression. But, you help me, I help you. That's pretty much the deal. Oh. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, do you think I can be a hero? Huh? Y you know, a hero, like saving people? Like, nah, I know what a hero is, but why do you want to be one? Well, I want to help people. <sighs> That's cute. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I can say so. Yeah, you can help people. You can be a hero. I don't really care. Really? Yeah, sure. Why not? If anything, just make sure that you don't get too injured or worse. Oh. Yeah. But, yeah, don't worry about it. Or at least, I got your back, kid. Okay. So, what, what, is, uh, what are we doing now? I guess I can take you to my mom and we can get ready to move. You're moving? Yeah, in America. Huh. Okay. Okay. Fine. <sighs> Sounds good to me, I suppose. Anyway, let's go. As you can imagine, Inko learning that way, Ultralink, Turbo Energy, blah blah blah, you can help my son. That's all I need to know. And as soon as you do arrive, uh, America. Izuku is, of course, excited to see the new sites. But Ingo has to remind him, like, yeah, yeah, though this place looks amazing and there may be a lot of stuff to do here, but let's not forget our main objective. We need help. Right. For my quirk. What's a quirk? That's what this turbo energy stuff is, right? <coughs> no! Oh my. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you when you're older. What, what, what is it? Nothing. Don't, just don't worry about it. Ugh. Yeah, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Why did I get stuck with such a child? 
by Amazon. I know. I know. That's just. Whew. As you can imagine, when they do arrive at in, in tech, they are quickly surprised to see that everyone just staring at them, or like, what the hell? Is that an Ultra Link? Yusuke was like, wait, you know what he is? Yeah. So, how did you come across him? Junkyard. Yeah, this kid saved me. What? He has turbo energy. What? Yeah, the here of to talk to someone called Max Steel. Who are they now? You do just feel like instant regret right now. It's just like, uh, why does it feel like it? We possibly made a mistake. As when Max shows up, he's a teenager still. Him seeing, like, okay, guys, what's going on? He's like, wait, who's the kid? Is it take her kid to work day? I don't think she, I don't remember her working here. Is, is yeah, Max. Being told the news, like, what? He has what? Seeing the Ultra Link, seeing Yuzugu, you gotta be kidding me. You don't lose this, this power now? I'm still a rookie myself. Oh, this is some. Uh, just look at Inko. He's a good expression. <sighs> okay. So, you're basically... Did, are, have they been briefed on what's really going on here? No, not yet. Yeah, might want to get that finished with first. Or else... This kid's life is going to be a lot more difficult than the uh, previous anticipations. As yes. Izugu and Inko are given the whole rundown of everything. It's like, what? Yep. So, you're saying this. Hmm. Yep. This isn't a quirk. Nope. And apparently my son is a descendant of uh, aliens. Yep. But how, how is that? Are you sure? Well, if we can use... Turbo energy, ultra links, and whatnot. Yeah. But seriously, your story is crazy. You really want to be a hero, don't you? Yeah. <sighs> well. Okay. What? Yeah, you can be a hero. Sure. Uh, family, you're gonna need a lot of training since this is. A is your first, you know, everything when it comes to using these powers. Heck, you should get, you're lucky you found uh, Ultra Link. At least, hmm, not an evil one. Wait, they can be evil? Oh, yes, they can. Real pains in the ass. Hey, it wasn't even my first day when I got the rundown of everything. I mean, months ago I had to go up against these weird elementor things. Seriously, could you imagine fighting f pure fire 
elemental and an earth elemental, then so on and so on. It was ridiculous. Yeah, believe me, these powers may be cool, but still, I didn't ask for them. And it's just my luck, and the old luck of the draw for me, and apparently you. I guess I could teach you a thing I know. The only thing is, I don't know much at all. So, it'll be a learning experience for both of us. I may still be in classes as well, but I will try my best to be a good teacher. Thank you. Yeah. So, if anything, let's get you all settled. As for you, Miss, Miss Midoriya, yeah, do you have a job here in America yet? I, I don't know. Huh, how would you like to work here? What, really? Of course, we always need capable people. Uh, Max, that is not your... Come on. She's a mother who just found out that aliens are real. And that her son is a descendant of said aliens. Not to mention the fact that, yeah, it's going to be getting dangerous. Let's at least help put her mind at ease here. <sighs> okay, fine. There we go. <laughs> See, it was that so hard. Well, if anything happens to where then it's your ass that's on the stake. Not mine. Fair. Okay, yeah. I, I, I can live with those odds, yeah. Good. So, what shall we teach them first? Well, hmm. That's a good question. I mean, on one hand, yeah, think about the whole fact that, yeah, this kid just recently, you know, his whole world was pretty much flipped upside down. <laughs> so, if anything, we need to ease him on into it. I say basic training. Huh. You know what? That's actually a good idea, Max. See? Please, don't call me that. Uh, don't be such a sourpuss. Please. This kid is my protege. And I would like for him to have some level of respect for me. It's going to be hard to do if you are being an asshole towards me. Hmm. Good point. Good point. We want to have as much respect for you as possible. The only thing is, uh, though, yeah, you're older than him, it's not but too much. Kid, how old are you? I, it, I just turned six not too long ago. Uh, hmm. Wow, yeah, you are young. Wait, you're six? Actually, he's five. He's going to turn six and not in a month or two, but he's, he's uh, kind of nervous and everything, as you can imagine. Oh, so he's even younger than I thought. Okay, that's... That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> but still, kid, you... You are something else. You know that, right? Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. <sighs> you don't have to say anything. But... Uh, this is a lot to retake in one day. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> but... Yeah, I think, don't worry about it. Ugh. 
is just focus on your training to make sure that you could be a great hero. Like you? <gasps> oh, really? You think I... Uh, what? You think I'm a great hero? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, you help people, you protect people, you fight nasty villains. Yeah. Yeah. I do do that, huh? You're right, I am a great hero. Uh, thank you so much. That, no, that, yeah, that, uh, that really boosts my confidence. Thanks. Suku? No problem. As yes, when it comes to Izuku's all in all training, it is actually very easy for him. Not only does he have Ultra League to help him regulate his power, he also has someone who knows the potential in it. One thing is, Izuku. Though he does have access to some turbo forms, not all of them. Mm. So, this one makes you stronger, this one makes you faster, you can fly with this one, you can swim better with this one. Yep. When can I start using those? When you're ready for them. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's. So, what do I do in the meantime? Uh, faith, hey, yeah. Keep focusing on your base transformation. Oh, okay. But what about not wearing the suit? What do you mean? I mean, yeah, the suit helps protect us and whatnot, but why not just use the energy itself? The energy? Yeah, I mean, turbo energy, uh, if anything. As Zuko fluctuates the turbo energy he's emitting, but then he starts condensing it to a point where it's just a thin layer that, though it looks blue as all hell, you can still tell Izu that's Izuku. Right. Huh. And watch this. As Izuku punches a concrete wall and obliterates it. Wait, what? As in, an orb starts to develop his hand as he shoots out a beam of turbo energy. I did not know we could... Huh. And what about your Ultralink? Did you think about, um... What? What? What else? What? <laughs> Please tell me what else. What else do you think could possibly happen? I mean, it's obvious that the Ultralink is bonded to you in particular, but... Okay, don't you have any weapons or anything else that it could, it could bond to? Were you insinuating things like this? That Ultra Link can only be used by you, but could do the same thing to a vehicle to a point where only you could use it. Yeah, they were like, uh, a biometric, uh, safe or something. Or, you know, a skeleton key. 
Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying use my ultra link as a type of key to pretty much print myself or at least my signature and only my signature to a point where only I can use the certain thing well yes actually You need to stop spending time with. You gotta stop spending time with the scientists! Please! Why? I mean, these are just theories. I, I'm, it's okay if I'm wrong. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. It's okay if you're wrong. But the odds of you being wrong were slim! Really? Yeah, because like you said, I, only I can really use steel. Huh. Seriously. It's quite amazing that you already thought of that. <sighs> it's crazy. Really? Well, yeah, kinda. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you dare apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Yeah. So, where's Awesome? What? It's Awesome Medium. Right. 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 Whatever. Whatever, his, whatever the hell his name is. Seriously. Why, why, why do you have to make his name so complicated? But it's not complicated. It's just a, It's on the periodic table. Yeah, I, I, I know. <sighs> It's not your. It's not your fault. It's just as soon as you got here, it, things got. Oof. Busy. I mean, how old are you now? I'm just ten years old. <sighs> if anything, you've already got got a good grasp on everything. Really? <laughs> Believe me. You are doing great. But like, th th thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot coming from you. <sighs> you are just too nice. Oh, is being nice a, a but that bad thing? Ah, uh, no. But you know you gotta show some backbone too. I mean you have, but you turn and more into a fanboy actually. <laughs> oh come on, Max. That if he wasn't a fanboy, it wouldn't be Zuku. Come on. You know what you write, but still, hmm. Uh, really, at least he ain't mumbling anymore. <sighs> he finally got out of that old habit. Was it really that bad? Yes. No offense, Izuku, but your mumbling will give people nightmares. Oh. But seriously, thanks to you taking on villains or, you know, really any kind of threat has been a breeze. 
That big boy brain of yours. Really? You think so? I know so. Crime fighting has never been this easy since I started. Yeah. You know what? I would like to see Japan. I would like to see where you grew up. Really? Yeah, sure, why not? It could be fun. Um, I'll have to ask my mom. She said it's okay. What? Wait, did you just... Oh, yeah, I already, call, I already called her. Wait, you were playing this, weren't you? Maybe a little. Maybe a little bitty bit. Oh, that's not nice. True. But, say let me... Here we Let's go. I can't wait. As soon as they do head to Japan, the soon they see a bunch of people being crowded and wondering what's going on. Max, being how he is, he's okay. Hold on, let me let me take a look. Let me. If anything, you're still a bit young. You need a. But. I think I'm ready for the field. No, you ain't. But I think I am. Yeah, but I can't risk that. What? You think you might be ready, and that won't be good enough. And I can't risk the safety of whoever's in danger, the citizens, and you, as well as myself, if I had to watch her, but two. Just wait here. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. As this is the all my versus all for one fight. Max. Yeah. He holds super strength. And he is more than able to really give all my much needed backup for this. To one where, yeah, he protects all my perfectly. You know, thanks to Zuku's training methods as well as tactical mind. He can, yeah, he's a lot less clunky, more and more focused, calculated. To the point where, like, I've been trained to fight you all my life. The only thing is, all the one having multiple quirks at his disposal at this point. Yeah. Max isn't prepared for all of it. Yeah, you can stay up on a certain hero or a villain all you want, but if you don't know the quirk and you don't know the downsides, the upsides, the capabilities, chances are it's going to be hard for you to really be able to counter them unless you are hella prepared. So Max is going from strength to speed to flight so fast to the point where he's disorienting it off of one, but off of one knows uh, you are nothing but a fly to me. Let me focus on getting him. So, when he's about to stab All Might, he stabs Max. Yeah, Max he is the one who ends up getting critically injured instead of All Might. Luckily for him, he's a goo has taught him something very helpful when it comes to using turbo energy as healing. In which he is slowly starting to regrow what was stolen or ripped out of him. Thing is, what one is why won't you die? This is causing it's all my door. Pretty much deck 
over one. Just like he would have in canon. Permanently just figuring his face. As well for one face to black. He notices Izuku running out to, to poor old Maxi. Trying to heal him as well. And as much as he does want to, as you can imagine, kill them both, or at least take that sweet, sweet quirk, uh, it's, it's fine another day. So he fixes death, of course. All Might, he rushes Max to the hospital. Izuku, wanting to chase them, isn't fast enough. All my thanks, Max, from the bottom of his heart. Max, no, thank him. Pointing right at Izuku. Um, I don't understand. That kid is the reason why I wasn't tripping all over myself, making a complete and utter fool. Uh, myself like I used to. Really? Yeah, me, him have the same power. And which I ended up helping him a lot, he ended up helping me a whole lot. Oh, so you have the same quirk. Yeah, 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 That that's it. We have the same quirk. Wow. You two must be very close. Yeah, what are you siblings? <laughs> nah. If anything, luck of the draw. But I do see him as my baby brother. Yeah, I'll protect him with everything I have. Hmm. That's really sweet of you to say. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I think he's probably having a heart attack right about now, or crying a river. You might want to tell him I'm okay. As, yeah, just like Max said, oh, Izuku is crying up a storm to a point where people are starting to complain of flooding. Even though, yes, Izuku is happy to hear that his mentor and older brother figure is actually okay. Oh my... Huh. You know what? You are quite the interesting young man. Really? Well, thank you for saying that, but what makes you... Max told me about how much you have helped him. I must say, you'll make a great hero one day. And as many times as Izuku has heard that from Max, it really means the thing from someone who he hasn't ever met before, let alone the number one hero in Japan. So Izuku, he is on cloud nine right now. Not only did he indirectly help and save all my life, but if anything, he also helped pro heroes catch a villain. Wait, where is all for one? <laughs> 